So this is a Stream Deck. You probably know what it does, but if you don't know, it's just uh, a macro pad that has these buttons that you can use for live streaming or recording content. It works with multiple software, but for live streamers, you can use it in OBS. You just set up some scenes and you can press a button and it's going to switch to scene one, press another button, it's going to switch to scene number two, or have a button that's assigned to recording or live streaming. When you hit it, it's just going to start recording or when you hit it, it's going to start streaming. Now, this is a great product to have but it costs money it's not free so if you broke and you want a free stream deck i have a good news for you you can actually use your phone for free and be able to use it as a stream deck so you can have like virtual buttons that you can press on your phone and be able to use as a stream deck and in this video i'm going to show you how to actually use your phone as a stream deck so let's get into it First thing, of course, you need to go to App Store. I'm on iPhone. If you're an Android user, let me know down below in the comment section. I'll do some research to see if uh, there's an Android version. Okay. So you go to App Store and then uh, search for Elgato Stream Deck Mobile. Okay. Once you see it, just click download. Now to connect to your computer, I'm going to show you how to connect it. Once it's out downloaded, just click open and it's going to open. It's going to look like this. Okay. So you have two ways of connecting it to your computer because your computer has to talk to the Stream Deck. The first way is to connect it via Wi-Fi. It's just making sure your computer and your phone is connected. They are connected on the same network. Or the other way is to connect it via USB. So you just need a lightning cable, connects to the computer, and then you're going to have a wired connection. That's the most reliable way because Wi-Fi sometimes may drop out and you can lose a signal. And you don't want that to happen when you're actually live streaming or recording content or just simply using your stream deck for now i don't need to do it because i'm just making a video i don't need to use a usb cable but uh with wi-fi right now is showing my desktop already on the network so i can just go ahead and connect it okay so i can select that desktop and then it's gonna ask me it says make sure waiting on desktop blah, blah, blah. make sure the code shown here matches the code on your desktop so what's happening you can see now on my desktop i have my stream deck software by the way if you don't know how to get the stream deck software if this is the first time you want to go to elgato.com all right and then once you get here you can go to downloads okay and then under downloads you can go ahead and download the stream deck software so this is the one that you need to download this is compatible with all the stream decks i mean stream deck neo blah 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 but for us, we're actually looking for Stream Deck Mobile. So we want to make sure it's actually supported. And as you can see, it is actually supported. So click download and install it. It should be straightforward. You won't have to struggle. You just, it's going to show up in your download folder. Click on it and just install on your computer. Okay. Now, once you have installed, you can open it. And this is mine. And this is where this thing is going to pop up. On your phone, it's going to show a number. And then that number is going to be on the computer as well once you select the computer so you want to make sure you choose trust and then once you choose trust we should be connected so right now it says it's connected and what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go to under stream deck because i have another physical stream deck that's connected and it can show you all the devices so right now on the phone it says sam's iphone that's the name of my my device and then once i click on it and as you can see, they're both connected. I already had it. I think I had it set up back in the day. And but you can see that everything now kind of like it's just there. OK, so what we need to do, uh, obviously, some of these buttons don't work anymore because these are some of the things that I had set up a long time ago. But what I can do, I can set up a new profile. Let's say set up a new profile. It's going to be blank. And if you see on the stream deck, I have some buttons that probably don't work. All right. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six. I have six buttons only. All right. So that's why this is free. OK. But if I want to upgrade, I can add another page for sure. And then it's going to give me page two. So I got page one and page two, which is good. But if you go to the gear icon, uh, of course, you can choose some of the things like your layout, orientation, appearance, faceplate, blah, 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 uh, shortcuts. Now, if you want to upgrade, this is where you kind of have to pay. Instead of doing this, I think I would just buy a normal Stream Deck instead of upgrading, in my opinion. That's what I tried before I buy an actual Stream Deck and then I got to a point where I wanted to upgrade. I was like, no, I don't want to use my phone as a Stream Deck. So this is something you can use for like, you know, when you're starting out and eventually upgrade to a real Stream Deck or to test if a stream deck is something that's for you 
right so we don't need to do that for now i can just hit done another thing is if you want to use it for obs obviously it's not going to be a crash course for how to use a stream deck i just wanted you to see how to use your phone as a stream deck so but you will need to download the obs plugin by going to the marketplace again and download the obs plugin so basically you go here see if you go to marketplace go to explore and then type in obs plugin all right so you can go ahead and actually download this one right here by Elgato. Okay, all you need to do is just click get and then boom, it's going to install. Of course, you may need to kind of log in using your Google email and everything. Just follow instructions is actually super easy. So I'm not going to go through it again because I already have installed. But once you have installed, guys, uh, it's going to show up here. So once you open the uh, stream deck, you can go here, type in OBS. All right. And it's going to be this one right here, OBS Studio. Now, once you see the OBS Studio, these are the options that you have. OK, the most important ones, you have the record. They say the record one. So if you want to uh, have a button for recording, I can have it here. OK, uh, again, we don't have OBS open. So you also want to make sure OBS is open because that's where it's going to detect where it's actually going. So they say, well, right now we have nothing in there, but let's go to scene collection. Maybe let's try blank. All right. So now I can go to the stream deck. Now record. I can just name it record. OK. And as you can see on my phone, it's actually showing and then I can hit the plus sign here and I can add an icon and just call it record. All right. And let's use this one that's kind of flashing. All right. So it's showing on my phone right now, which is awesome. I can also go, uh, let's say, use the uh, stream. OK, to start a live stream. So that one should be stream, right? It's stream and then you can change the icon again. I'm not going to change it, but you can change the icon. And then let's say scenes, you can maybe put another scene here. And then this is going to be for, let's say, we're going to choose a random scene here from OBS. Let's choose camera, maybe. And then we can go here, add an icon, just type in camera and then boom. All right. So as you can see, it's working like a normal stream deck, right? So let's add another scene maybe here. And this one, we can call it something else. Test Comica or Meet Cam, whatever. And then this one, we can change the icon again. So let's all camera, add a different camera here. All right. So under Meet Cam, I can actually choose Osbat Me 2 camera or Osbat Picture camera, maybe. All right, so we got a camera in here. So now if I go to my phone, OK, I press camera where it's going to change. I change, I go to Meet Cam. Why? Well, it has the same camera. So I just want to show you guys what it's going to look like. So let's say we add an image here. Yeah, just something for fun to show you how like I'm switching scenes. So I'm go from camera, boom, my stream deck, and then I go to the image, which is the Meet Cam. This scene right here so you can see that it's working if i want to record i can hit the record button on my phone and as you can see start recording i can stop recording no problem and as you can see it looks really awesome like a stream deck right obviously it's gonna be a little limited but you can see what the buttons are awesome right so you can put it in front of you and just record anytime you need to record and again if you want to see how to set up a stream deck with the OBS show for streaming adding all the scenes and everything I have a video that i actually did showing you step by step on actually how to do that that's gonna be a little more different because i was using the stream deck mark ii which is a little bigger and it's a physical stream deck but the concept is the same after you have installed your stream deck application on your phone the process should be the same okay so if you want to see that video, make sure you check it out. It's going to be linked right here. Other than that, I'll see you guys next time. Take care.